Today I'd like to talk to you about shallow water walleye and techniques that I use with the Mimic Minnow from Northland Fishing Tackle. This bait produced by Northland Fishing Tackle was actually built to be a swim bait, which, which means you're, you're casting it and you're pulling it through a column, just the column of water and the bait, you know, the bait that's got a boot tail on it, it's got good action. I took it a little further with what I do with it for fishing walleyes in shallow water. What I like to do with this bait is tie a leader, probably about 18 inches to a swivel, so you don't get that line twist, you know, in your, in your spinning reels from this bait just kind of flopping around all over the place. Generally, my year for walleye starts in May up here, up here in the Northland, right after the fish come out of spawn. And a lot of those fish are still up in, I'd say less than five foot of water on a lot of the lakes that, that I fish here. And this bait does very well going up, tossing up, you know, you're sitting out in five, six, seven, eight feet of water, you're tossing up on these flats where these fish are, are still up there because they've come off a of spawn, but what's happened is a lot of the bait has come in to spawn as the water temperatures start to rise. And that holds a lot of these walleyes up in, in these shallow areas where there's probably just starting to be a little bit of emergent weed. You know, the water temp's starting to get around 60 degrees and a lot of these other fish are coming in to spawn. And uh, what I like to do is target those walleyes with this mimic minnow. I'll cast it up on a spinning rod and I'll actually rip this bait. Rip, rip, rip. But between each rip, this bait is actually hitting the bottom and then I rip it again, it comes up. And a lot of times what will happen is as you're going to rip it again, you just set the hook because the fish is taking it. You know, you, there's not a real definite, usually a definite bite indication. It's just they're just there. You know, most people probably have picked this bait up thinking, you know, it's a swim bait. They're, they're, they're going to take it out. They're, they're going to use it for largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. But when I seen this bait and I started, started thinking in my mind, I can go take this bait, go up in shallow water, for, for walleyes that, you know, that, that most people don't understand. They're, they're there all season long. You know, as long as you can get into these areas, once the weed growth comes up, you can catch those walleyes still in five, six foot of water in the middle of summer. And they're usually the big girls. One unique factor of this Mimic Minnow is, is the lead head jig they have on it. I've watched this, throwing this out in, the, in some underwater videos of this thing. As it's dropping, this bait, this head actually makes this bait roll back and forth a little bit and I believe that is a triggering factor for, for a lot of fish that I catch on it. Yeah, I can recall a story for you. I was out on opening weekend, me and my nephew, we, were, we, were, we had this technique that we were doing, the, the rip jigging up on, up on a big flat. It was on Gull Lake in here in Minnesota and it was comical to a sense, a, a, a sense because we were just pounding, we were catching like almost every cast. We were pulling in two, two to six pound walleyes. And there were 75 boats just off in the short distance from us, off the break line out in, you know, the deeper water that most walleye anglers normally fish. And I think after a period of time, they, they had enough. It was just all of a sudden I had boats everywhere. I could walk from boat to boat on this flat. With all these anglers that come in from out there had to be 50 boats up on this flat. And it was kind of comical because they were only there about 10 minutes. They couldn't figure out what was, how to do anything because the classic walleye fishermen, they're trolling everything, you know, live bait. They're up there, they're getting hung up on weeds. They, they just couldn't do nothing, they never caught a fish. And it wasn't 10 minutes later, I was up there by myself again. They were all left. It was, it was just that it told me how powerful this kind of a bait and technique really is in the North Country. As a young angler, my, uh, growing up, my dad w was a walleye guide here up in the Brainerd Lakes area in Minnesota. And, you know, back then days, it was live bait. Live bait rigging was, was the deal. But uh, as growing up and becoming more into the uh, power fishing, I like to call it, I kind of gave it up. And I, I moved to baits like this that, that I actually found I got a lot better results out of by forcing the, the fish to bite. I want to let you know that this bait not only works in the spring, it actually works throughout the full season. It, you just have to find the right water, the right, the right cover. You know, you, you're going to go up on top and, you know, throw it through some cabbage. It's got to be sparse cabbage. You can rip it through that stuff. 
And then in the fall, as the weeds are dying down, that's a re another really good time to, to be doing this system, this bait, because the, the, as the weeds die off, it's much easier to get this bait up there. And, if, and in the fall, when that water temperature is dropping again, then walleyes have moved up on top of a lot of these flats again, just like they were in the spring. The mimic minnow, I know that I've talked to you mostly about walleye today, but I, you know, I know you're gonna, you all fish other species of fish, and, and this bait definitely will catch multiple species. Probably most species out there you can catch with this bait. And if you have any comments, list them below, and please subscribe.